Hello. Are all synthetic oil equal? Uh, no. Um, before, I want a special thanks to Ryan to provide me the uh, information of a virgin oil analysis from the Anzol Oil Signature uh, 5W20 and the Mobile One 5W20. And um, I'm doing this video because uh, mainly, um, you know, a lot of people uh, just get Mobile One. Uh, don't bother with others uh, but uh, I would beg to differ uh, I would say mobile one is just a no K uh, synthetic oil uh, if I look at I usually don't really like to talk about the metals and contaminants but dude man there's a lot of uh, basically mobile one has one metal of each you know if you outside of a K cadmium there's Correction, outside of cadmium, uh, there's one on everywhere, even silver, which is weird. Uh, contaminants, again, you look at the amount A37, you know, versus any other. Uh, it's kind of high. Uh, but let's go to the metal source, multi-source metal. Uh, you, let's compare just the uh, Amzol signature versus mobile one. Uh, Molly B, okay, the uh, mobile one has a little bit more. Uh, manganese, we're not even going to mention about. Boron, boron, I always say if you're over 200, that's good. And, uh, you know, except for Penzel Ultra, Angel Signature 5W20, uh, that's what we're at right here. Uh, it's the IS with 253, basically more than double the mobile one. And then let's go with the additives, magnesium. Uh, 22 for the Amsoil and Fiverr 519 Mobile One. Um, so right in the middle between uh, the Amsoil Boosted, if you look at it. Um, again, I don't know why some will have more additive from another, uh, but I'm just reporting what the numbers are. But look at the calcium. Uh, I've seen some racing oils uh, over 3,000 uh, ppm. But uh, that's 42.28, it's, it's up there. That's a lot of calcium additive. And you look at mobile one with 13.68, which is good. Barium, that's a smoke suppressor. Technically, it should be zero. There's one on the mobile one. Phosphorus, um, okay for mobile one. It's, it's equal of what Valvoline has and Castrol Edge. Um, but... 805 for the Amzo signature and zinc 855 ppm for the Amzo and 887 for mobile one so overall the Amzo is okay uh, but there's better elsewhere um, but I guess if the price is right you know mobile one the only thing I'm really uh, not happy with mobile one it's again the uh, top two columns the contaminants and the metals uh, I don't. There's no reason why it should be this high unless their their refinery um, uh, con containers uh, are you know contaminating the the, the batch of oil. Uh, I, I I don't know why there's so many uh, metals and contaminants. But if we look at the CST 8.7, it's good. If you look at it, uh, you know there's the the ultra. That's the IS. Uh, the Amsoil series at 865, but the TBN, I uh, was lucky enough to have that. You could see the TBN of the Amsoil, it's a lot higher than the mobile one. That means you'll be able to do a lot of mileage uh, with the same or more protection with the Amsoil. So it's up to you. I'm just here to report some information. And I want to say a special thanks to all of the... I'm receiving uh, all kind of... Uh, uh, info regarding oils. Uh, some people are sending me conventional oil. From now on, I'm not going to do any conventional oil. And some with the higher, higher mileage um, synthetic oils out there, I'm not going to do that now. Uh, but what I may want to do one day, it's uh, a comparo of uh, OEM oil, let's say Toyota versus Honda versus Ford versus GM, whatever. So I may do that. But uh, keep the if you have any info, just to let me know. I'll uh, I'll set aside. I started a uh, a zero W twenty also. I think I have like three brands right now. I'm gonna wait a little bit more. Uh, 
Uh, and again, the numbers are, are all over the map. And again, I want virgin oil analysis, not something that's been used uh, because I, I cannot go by these figures because no engines are the same. So for those who wanted to know this info, you know, it, here it is. Take care. Bye.